and welcome back everybody to Digimon World DS. We have just received our first partner Digimon, Fairy Mac, and now we are going to meet the the Observer of the Normal Tamers. I'm sure quite I'm sure quite a few of you Advent Digimon watchers or, 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 or recognize or recognize this, this this next guy. Hmm. Okay. Yes, yes, Evie Digimon, we will follow his guidance. I mean, he's probably just some nerdy observer little guy. I mean, he's, he's the observer of the normal of the normal tamers. I mean, how 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 bad could he be? Uh, I I I'm not like. Oh shit! Go. Oh god! Uh, hi. Uh, I'm trying to think. What? Yeah, I was like, yeah, Azulong Mom was like, wasn't he like one of the Digimon gods or something? And yeah. One of the. Our, our... Our observer is literally an observer. <laughs> He's fucking <laughs> god. I died for your sins. Zulongmon, the, the, the dragon god of the of one of the, one of the four gods of the universe. So this for, the, for those of you who are also very aware of how did you, of how of, of the Digimon canon, you pro you probably already have a pretty good idea of, of who the next three observers are. <laughs> hey, this four is a gods. Yeah, because I'm trying I'm trying to think. This is yeah. This is a. This is zero two, isn't it? Second season? Um. Or was it? Or was this Tamers? I couldn't remember. I think he debuted in zero two, yeah. But then yeah. He, he, they, they did also show up in Tamers. Tamers okay. as well. So. Okay, that's probably where I got confused. Like I believe in zero two, they played a more role. They played more of a guidance role, whereas in Tamers, they are more of an instinct, instinctual role. I believe. Okay. Well, they handled Digimon very differently in Tamers than they did in the others. Well, they they handled Digimon very differently, just among among generations, anyway. So, yeah, which is part of the reason why I really like got into Tamers. Yeah, yeah, Tamers was fucking awesome. Like that, that's the show that Lindsay and I still need to finish watching. Cause like, we 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 watched a little bit more over the Thanksgiving break, but we still need to finish it. Oh, okay. like are you, so, are, are you watching English or Japanese? English, because I I own the DVD set. Oh, okay. But now Azulongmon's first mission for us. We are to go back to the area that we were, that we first came to this world in, which is called the Data Forest, and we are to gather enough data to digi convert one Digimon. Oh. Digi convert? I'll explain that a little more later. So digi now how it's conversion. So now what Terrier Mon's going to explain to us here? Uh, these, these these two gates we see here. Yeah, these circles something around these are actually gates. Uh, using your Digivice, you will be able to tr to transfer to, to different areas of the digital world through these portals. Okay. So whenever you actually want to go out, out, out onto the field, you go through the green gate, and then the purple gate will be explained a little later. And then you ask for, any, and then you're explaining here for as for addresses. You need an address to get to, 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 to the different areas. Uh, addresses are, are, are typically just uh, you you get addresses through plot. Just continue through the plot, and you'll get, you'll get more areas to go through. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's like, my God, the computer lingo. I mean, that was another big thing. It's like, yeah, Digimon, Data Force. It was like in the first series. It's like the kids ended up on File Island, and then we go to the continent of Server. I mean, it's just they go all out. God, oh, is that God Digimon is and all their technical talk? Yeah. Is that Calamon? That's Calamon. Yeah, Calamon. And I then Galmon. Was Galmon, Galmon from? Was was that was, was that one from a? Was that from a later show? I don't yeah, uh, Galmon was one of the main Digimon and Sabers. Okay, that's why I don't recognize them. And uh, but unfortunately, Ga Calamon and Galmon are being attacked by a Gaborimon. Calamon's explaining. Ga Galmon, you know, he he tried fighting him off, and Gabor and he said that you know he he he, he is easy actually, but. He let his guard down, and Gaborimon got a, got a cheap shot off him, so he's hurt. Okay. Yeah, Kalamon was, like, the big, like, mascot character, I guess you could say, from Tamers. It's like, of yeah. all of all the Digimon, Kalamon was, like, it was like, by far the cutest one, probably played the biggest role. I mean, he was just the mascot character. So, if you want to, you can ask Kalamon how, about battles. Gaborimon's nice enough to, to, to let us to, to wait for us. But, you know. <laughs> it's like, oh, how... He has great manners. Here we get into a battle. I furry back attack. So here's how battles work. You can fight, move. You have the fight option, obviously. 
Uh, we, don't have, we don't have any options just yet. And you see that, that, there's, f that there's five columns on, on this row. So, the move option, which is something I really never use, so I may as well explain it now. You can use the move option to actually change the Digimon's position on that row. Hmm. Because there are certain attacks that, that can't attack multiple spots. So, if, so you, you can use the move option to, to, to change st strategically and such. But it does take up a turn, so... Okay. Tijibod deleted. So we beat Gaborimon, and our prize for, for, for beating Gaborimon, as Gaborimon is going to give to us here, is scan data for Poyomon. Oh god, Poyomon! This is effectively what, what Azulongmong asked us to do. He wanted, he wanted us to collect scan data. Hmm. For, for, it doesn't matter for what Digimon, just for, for any Digimon, as long, as long as we got scan data. And Galmon Ganon just gave it to us, so you know, there you go. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, and Galmon actually works at, at, at the same counter as Agumon. Hmm. So he, he, he's in charge of battles. What are the odds? Yeah, I don't know. Um. And Kalamon, are you gonna make us Digigods? <laughs> Help me become a digi deity like you. Mm, Calamon plays a, a, a different role in this game. Not as broken as, as he was in Tamers. Oh god, yeah, Calamon was fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, seriously, it's like, it's kind of hard to explain, and it would take a while to explain Calamon's role in Tamers, but I guess, like, a very brief attempt, like, the role that he played, he was like a he was a major part of the digital world, and oftentimes he would just, like, the power that he held, like, Digimon would evolve and everything, but, like, not just, like, the good Digimon, like, from the Tamers, even the bad Digimon. It was like, you know, he just, it's like, he basically broke everything. Well, what, what Kelamon's gonna do for us here, he's gonna help maintain our Digifarm. That's our reward for getting for, for completing Azulong Monk's quest for get for scan data. We now have our first Digi Farm. And what do we do at the Digi Farm? Think of Digi Farms like a bigger Tamagotchi. Oh God. <laughs> so to get to our Digi Farm, that's what the purple that's that's what the purple gate is for. Mm. And which is what Terry wants to explain to us here. You're going to be going through your Digimon a lot, through your Digimon farm a lot, obviously, especially when it comes to sorting your Digimon. So I'll, I'll get more into it. I'll get more a little bit into that once we actually enter it. Okay. And here we are. Yes, I do, because I'm, I'm going to explain it here. So how Digi Farms work, you can, um, yeah, you, you can obviously ask Agumon if you have any questions, but no need, because that's what I'm here for. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to Digi Convert the Poilomon we got. Digi Conversion is effectively birthing Digimon. Wait, it's, it, what? We're going to, we're going to create a new Digimon. In this case, we're going to cre create a new Poilomon, now that we have the scan data for it. That's how you collect new Digimon in this game. To, to actually, the legitimate way to get scan data is fighting Digimon. When you fight a Digimon, you'll notice at, at the beginning of the fight, in the bottom left hand, uh, the, bo the bottom right hand corner of the screen, an, a percentage number will come up next to where it says Digi Conversion. Once that reaches at least over a hundred, you'll be able to Digi Convert that Digimon. So you need to fight digi uh, a certain Digimon over and over again in, or in order to be able to Digi Convert it, if you so please. Okay, so basically the Digi Farm is like you're creating like your own primary village. Yes. And and not only can you create Digimon here, you can also raise them here as well. If you don't want to actually bring them to the field with you, you can leave them here in the farm. And you can, you can also put toys or, or, or equipment or workout tools or whatever around here. Even gardens to help keep, help keep them fed. And they, 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 can, they can raise themselves on their own just through this farm. Oh my god, this really is the fucking primary village. <laughs> yeah, I, 
Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. For those of you who have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. So, uh, in the first uh, series, the way they explained like how Digimon are born and what happens when they die and everything, it all links back to what is known as the primary village. Because these Digimon are essentially data, and, you know, in the, when you're in the Digi-world, even when you defeat a monster, you know, it just becomes, you know, packets of data that just roam around and everything. Though all that data doesn't essentially, like, die or anything, like, it doesn't go away. That data ends up finding its way back to Primary Village, where it's reborn as a baby. And here so, we have our first baby, Poyomon. Yeah, so... Which is actually it, incorrect. They're calling Poyomon here and then trading Digimon, but it's actually, it's actually a fresh Digimon. Oh, okay. Yeah. But basically, like, yeah, what... So, yeah, like, you know, there's basically... N Swiggle? Swiggles. Okay, then. Swiggles. 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 <laughs> I, I love it. Okay, uh. but... <laughs> But yeah, so um, so yeah, the primary village, like because of how the digi the digi world, at least in the first series, worked, like you know, yeah, Digimon, there's really no such thing as death in the digi world, because it's like okay, even like even when they defeat the big bads and everything, like Devimon and everything, you know, Devimon, even though he's defeated, Devimon never truly died. He just goes back to primary village and is reborn as a baby. Very effectively. So now, what our current mission is now? Now that now that we've gotten our Pokemon and our farm, Azula Monk asks us to go back to Data Forest and find Gabumon. Gabumon is in charge of the, of the weapon shop, and he went missing and hasn't come back. So we have to go find him. All right. Okay. And as you see, we also have Pokemon now with us. Now we have two Digimon to help us fight. It's like you just got a Pokemon, and then you had to go ahead and fight one. Yep. Oh man. And here's hey. Betamon. That one does not look familiar. Like, what is Betamon? Yeah, Betamon was. Was it, was Betamon was like season one Digimon? No, Betamon debuted actually in, in uh, two, season two. Oh. Uh, Betamon, okay. people mostly know him as the rookie form of Seedramon. Oh, oh. Okay. God damn, I'm more so familiar with season there, like, two. My Digimon I leveled up. So obviously, when they level up, they gain they gain some stats. But you, but you saw more specifically say I got I received Aqua experience. There's different experience types you get depending on what Digimon you you, you beat. When you beat a certain Digimon, like if, like let's say like yeah, we beat Betamon there, we received Aqua experience. Experience overall does stack up to a, to a, to a bigger number, but you need a certain amount of each type of experience in order in, in order to to achieve. Well, certain kinds, of, certain types of digivolution. Like there will be certain Digimon where you need a certain amount of dragon experience in, in order to digivolve. Hmm. And up in su su such and such as that. Uh, I'll get more into into other dig Digimon cri uh, digivolution criteria later on. But here we have Ga Gabumon, who said that he he found a bronze plate here but lost it, and he doesn't want to go back until he finds it. So he's having us find it. Of course, Gabumon. Yeah, and FYI, like, the Sunomon, like, the first, uh, Digimon that BJ picked up, the one with the little horn on its head, this is its next form, is the Gabumon. Yep, one of them, I should say. Like, like I said last part, dig the Digivolution chains aren't exactly consistent throughout the games. For one thing, the, in uh, Digimon, they, they, they don't, uh, most of them anyway, they don't change into, they, they don't have the option to change into just one new one new form. They can actually change into up to three forms, some of them. Oh, okay. But that, well, I'll get more into that in, uh, later on when I actually show off more Digivolution. So we'll see you all then. All right. See you then.